How you doing guys? Me, Alan here, LFC Red Chat. Uh, I'm on Twitter, at LFC Red Chat. I'm on there pretty much all the time. Um, and I'm also on Facebook. If you want to search LFC Red Chat, you'll find my page. That part, I'm more just posting up my videos and my articles on there. So uh, that's a nice one if you're just flicking through Facebook and you want to read something. You know, go ahead and follow me on there. But let's get into this. Um, so, Sturridge is out. He's out again. This is his third injury in the row without really playing any games. It's wearing thigh, calf, thigh. And it's left a lot of Liverpool fans clambering for Rigi to come over from uh, Lille and to come and help our season out and just rescue it. I must admit, I was one of the ones in the early stages when Balotelli was... I guess... When, when would it be? It must have been... A couple of weeks after Balotelli was playing by himself, and I was like, oh, he really needs somebody. Balotelli really needs somebody. I really, I really wish we could get Rigi in right now. He would be great. I watched him in the World Cup. Oh, fantastic. Starts ahead of Lukaku, starts ahead of Benteke, and we both know those boys have got goals in them. So, yeah. So, I was, oh, yeah, bring him over, bring him over. But, I've been watching him. Uh, playing for Lille. He's only scored three goals for Lille. Okay, this season. He's done a lot better for Belgium. He has. He, he scored a couple of great goals for Belgium in the qualifiers. Uh, with them being in Wales' group, you get to see them a lot. But, what I'm trying to say in this video is, let's not go ahead and pin all our hopes on Origi. Like we have done with um, Sturridge. And probably, to, to a certain extent before that, we did to Balotelli as well, before before we kind of got a real grip of what he, he's all about in the Liverpool shirt at the moment. Um, yeah, for me, we need to buy, we need to buy, I don't know, I've been seeing this for a while, do you go out and you buy another striker, right? Because then, everything working out well, you have potentially five strikers on the books come the summertime, going to have Balotelli, just signed, Lambert, just signed, Barini, Sturridge, and Origi, just signed. So you've got four out of the five that will be there uh, for next season, because I don't see them selling up Balotelli, if everything goes well, okay? So if everything goes well, Balotelli clicks, Origi clicks, uh, comes in and plays well on the team, and when he does, Sturridge gets back from injury, clicks. Um, Barini clicks, you know, Lambert clicks. They're all, they're all firing some goals. So this is the best possible case scenario, right? So you've got five there already. And you bring someone in December, that's six. Okay? So then you've got six strikers. Four of which you won't, you've recently signed. One of which was your top goal scorer over the year before. So that gives you five that you're going to have to keep. Barini's the only one that will probably be seeing the door after this season. Or at least in January. So what do you do? Do you get rid of Barini in January and bring someone in? Then you're down to three strikers that are fit again uh, just after New Year. Still should be back. You know, you're, you're in a bit of a conundrum there and try and balance in the position that you have up front. That's why I've been saying, let's go for someone maybe a little bit more wider, okay, that can cut in, that can possibly play in the middle for some games, then out wide and different things. So that's why I've been saying Shakiri. Over there uh, at Bayern Munich, I think he would be a good one to come in and play for us. But I wouldn't go ahead and pin all our hopes and pay the extra five million for Rigi. I probably would play it, pay the extra five million for Rigi. But when he comes over, I wouldn't want to pin all my hopes on him being the next, you know what, the next Suarez or something like that for the team banging in a whole bunch of goals, because. In all likelihood, 19 years old, it's going to take him a little while to adapt. The French League and the Premier League are different leagues. You know, for, duh. But um, I'm talking about the pace, the physicality and stuff about it. I just think, I just don't want to be, pretty much you just don't want to be let down again, you know. You were so let down from the recent Sturridge one. You can see all over Twitter and everything that. Oh my God, fucking Sturridge out again, this and that. You know, some people are just done with him. You know, 
is done. I even saw some people thinking you know, let's sell them. One guy thought we get fifty million for storage. Unbelievable sometimes. Fifty million for storage. I only scored twenty one goals, but for fuck's sake, fifty million? With his injury record? God. But anyway, why, why would you sell him? I don't think you would sell. And especially because he, he signed this long term deal um, beforehand, so I don't think they'll let him go. But yeah, uh, let's keep in mind that Origi's only scored three over there in League 1. Um, Sterling has scored three over here in the Premiership. It's not enough. We need more than that by this time. Sturridge had already, uh, I think Sturridge was already on 8, and I think Suarez was already on 8 by this time last year. Both of them banged in 16 goals, which is 2 more goals than what we've scored all season. So you can see, although I do not personally believe that Sturridge, sing, uh, Suarez, sorry, single-handedly put us into that second place spot last year, um, you can see he's been a big miss and also Sturridge has been a big miss. When you take out, what was it, 50, 50 something goals out of your team for the best part of the season, you're adding in players. Eight new players coming in and out of the team. Your three strikers haven't scored a goal in over a thousand minutes, you know. You're missing something. But I will not pin the, all our hopes on Origi coming over. If he does come over, if we do pay this extra five million, I'm saying extra five million because this is just rumours. I don't know if they're real or looking for an extra five million, making it a fifteen million for Origi. You probably get a lot more by now. Um. Yeah. So well, let's not go pinning all our hopes on Origi. Let's go out and buy some, maybe a little bit more versatile, or you know, go all out and buy a Benzema. Go buy. Uh, um, what's his name, the boy at PSG, go buy a Gignac, who a Gignac, who is on the last six months of his current deal, why don't you go sign him up for a couple of million, last couple of years of deal, you're looking at someone who's rated, I don't know, Gignac, let's throw a number out there, say 15 million for Gignac, last couple of years of deal, you'll probably pick him up for just over 10, maybe a bit of a bargain, Get him in. I've, I would like to see him. Benzema, you go out there. Benzema, you're going to have to pay the big bucks. I don't know if FSG is going to do that. Um, who else is out there? You know, I don't know. I don't know. Just don't know. That's the way it is right now at Liverpool. You don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how to. To help the club, all I know is I'm gonna. I'm looking forward to, to the game on Sunday. Uh, if you haven't already seen it, my, I've already got my preview video up, uh, up and running. It's got all, everything you need to know, five things and all the rest of it. Anyway, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below as always. Who would you like to see in Liverpool? Are you pinning all your hopes on Origi? Do you think I'm underestimating him at Lille? Is he playing on a poor team at Lille? Is that why he's only got three goals? Tell me down below. I replied to everything. Uh, don't take offence if you if you disagree with me. You know I'll, we can have a good debate on there. I'll argue my point if I feel the way, or if you persuade me to think otherwise. You know, good on you. Let's have a let's have a chat about it. Subscribe up above. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good one. See you soon. Be safe. Uh, come on, to Liverpool.